Hi, I'm Dave Iker and welcome to the universe. The Big Bang set the universe in motion 13.8 billion years ago, but we didn't always know that. How did early ideas about cosmology get going? Turn on your mind and get ready for the real reality show. The earliest ideas about the world imagined it as a flat rectangle centered on Europe. Earth was central and static. The sun rose and set. Planets were wandering stars. Earth, the sun, and stars were set on a series of concentric spheres. Greek cosmology, perfected by Aristotle, listed a series of 55 heavenly spheres. According to Heraclides Ponticus, Earth rotated on its axis, but few believed him. Claudius Ptolemy, in the second century AD, began to push things along. Ptolemy lived in Alexandria and compiled a great star catalog, the Almagest. He believed Earth was a central fixed sphere. After all, rotation would cause things to fall off. Ptolemy believed that other objects moved, and this could be described by equants, deferents, and epicycles. During the Roman period, basic science was de-emphasized. Architecture, military science, and transportation took over. For centuries, common people had almost no knowledge base. Rulers, clergy, and scholars were the informed ones, and even they had a hazy view of reality. Much later, during the Middle Ages, came a return to Greek rationalism. Thomas Aquinas evoked pillars of knowledge and relied largely on intuition and faith. He separated truth in different ways, with philosophical truth and mathematical truth. By now, higher education began to enter the picture. In 1245, the University of Paris began requiring a study of Aristotle for every master's degree. Still, during the Middle Ages, the cosmological view of the universe was primitive and wrong. It wasn't until the early 16th century when a Polish monk came along that the world was enlightened. We'll explore that tale in the next episode. I'll see you next time on The Real Reality Show.